Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. Um, if you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, please tap on the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. Thank you for the likes we've been receiving too. It's, it's, we've been having a lot of fun with the people who write in and all that sort of thing. So thank you for all of that. Okay, uh, in our last video, what we did is put this wheel on that I built for Mike for last Christmas. I had a chest cold, man. I didn't get anything done over Christmas. Nobody got nothing. I think I got the dog something cool. That was it. But this is Mike's wheel, and you better show it off because it took a whole lot to do this wheel. Show it off what it looks like on the bike. And show off your pulley from the other side, because you polished that, and it's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, but in the last video, what we did is put the wheel on. I got it pretty well lined up. I'm really pleased with it. It's centered. It's nice. I've got enough clearance, just barely. And the only thing that, that I really would like to get around to is... And I want to get around to it soon is I'm going to start because I've got this Dyna and another Dyna belongs to one of my buddies that, that I ride with. I want to do alignment, chassis alignment. That's in the books. I've got alignment bars that my buddy and I made up years ago just for doing these alignments on rubber mounts. And so as soon as we get a chance to, I want to be able to do that. I've got a lot going on, but I still want to get to it and do it soon. Now, in taking this wheel off and taking everything apart, we had the brake caliper just hanging loose and all that sort of thing, which made it a little easier to retract the pucks and all that. I don't know what these are really called, but these go inside. Like that. And we're going to put them in. Maybe they're called anti-rattlers? Insulators. I think there's some kind of an insulator. Make sure. In fact, I couldn't even find a good enough picture to see whether or not I got them going in right. Whether they go like that. Actually, they go on the, on the uh, left, obviously. Here. Anyway... So there it is. I'm happy with it. It doesn't matter to me. It looks fine. As long as they're safe and working well, why? Everything is cool. Now, there's three bolts that actually hold this thing together. And there's certain things here. This is a real wear piece. And anytime there's metal on metal anywhere, I want things lubed up. I'm using some Molly grease, which is... Uh, Pretty serious stuff, but this stuff pretty much penetrates the metal and and will keep doing a, a real lubrication for a long time to come. And realizing this brake caliper probably won't be removed from this bike for quite a while. Unless we get more time to wear, ride and start wearing things out. That's what I like to do with my bike, is wear it out. So we're going to put that bolt in there. That's the top one there. And it seems to me that that's a uh, 10 millimeter. But with that in there, and it's well lubed, because as the, of course this thing moves up and down, but as the pads wear, the brake lining wears, then what happens, there we go, yeah, is this thing is going to have to, to move in closer. And so we want it lubed so it'll move well. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. This is the second bolt. 
Now, in putting this together, I'm trying to put it together the way the service manual showed. I'm not sure that's necessarily the best, but we'll see. Okay, there's the other bolt. Now we can tighten those anytime we like. Now this one is the pin that holds the pads and it's in pretty good shape. I'm going to put a little bit of that grease on there. Just a little, just a little. Okay. All right, now we're going to take these pads and we're going to put one. You know what I want to do? Everyone's going to laugh at me, but I have to do it. What's cool is at this end of the uh, computer, I don't hear you laughing at me. While I'm making a video, you're laughing at home. Anyway, I'm putting a little white lithium right here on this pad. And I'm going to put it in there. Let me just set this right here. There we go. I've got to go up and hook that in there. I do believe it's in there. Can you see that from the other side, Mike? Mm -hmm. Is it in there? Mm -hmm. Good enough. Mm -hmm. You have to be sure. Let me get that white. You have to be sure that these square shapes right here on the brake pad do actually register in their spot inside there. Now this is the outer one going on. Let's see, will that help any to loosen that a little? I don't think so. Nah. Doesn't do anything. So I think you just have to wiggle it in. Oh, I don't like that at all. I'm going to loosen everything up. And I'm going to pull that caliper out a bit. There it goes. There it goes. Let's see. I think, yep, it's going right in there. And there it is, slid right into place. Can you see that in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to put the pin in here. Make sure I get it to register on both pads. And I think I can tighten that up real good. idea it was that long. There it is. There is a torque spec on that. We're going to tighten these up.
Now, I don't have the right adapter out here, but that pin is supposed to be tightened to around 100 inch-pounds. And uh, I will do that when we're done here. I'll check it out. But there we have it. It's all together now. And what I want to do, what I want to do is uh, jack this thing up for a moment, which I'm going to do. And uh, see what we can do here for a minute. I just want to test that brake. And the easiest way is while it's on the lift to jack it up, spin the wheel. Of course, that wheel may be, may be actually frozen by now. Okay. There we go. I think we got that wheel almost off the deck. Nope. There it is. Okay, now, while that caliper was off, I retracted the pucks all the way. And what I did is I got a little block of wood and a C-clamp, and I pulled and I just retracted those pucks all the way. So now, when I go to check the brakes, all of the fluid is going to be moved back, and there's not going to be any brake for a minute. I'm going to have to pump it up. I didn't expect that. It's up. And it's working. There you have it. I will remember to check the fluid in the reservoir before I uh, call this job finished. The belt guard hasn't been put back on. And like I said, in the next... Pretty soon here, we will make time and do a real alignment check on this whole chassis. But there it is, all finished. And like I was talking earlier, hopefully I will have the parts for the pan head very soon. And I'll be able to get that done. And then we can get onto the sidecar for my dog. Then we'll get back on the flathead. The only problem with it is if anything else around here screams for attention in the meantime, it gets it. I think that makes this a real reality show. Anyway, well, I think we're going to have to go for a ride now that Mike's got his wheel on, so uh, maybe we'll see you out on the road.